What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Motes Film Session. And today, man, we're talking about Trey Norwood, the seventh round draft pick out of the University of Oklahoma. Now, this is a guy, man, that was very, very productive at Oklahoma this past season, man. Johnny on the spot, um, just a, a really good understanding of ball and at multiple positions, which is ultimately the thing that I think he brings to the table the most. So without further ado, we're going to break down a couple of plays for him. And after that, man, we'll let you, you know, decide what you think about Mr. Trey. Here he is right here. Big boy circle for the big playmaker. Mm-hmm. All righty, all righty. So first off, man, just talking about from a coverage standpoint, what Oklahoma is running is just a cover three concept right here, all right? So in this cover three, this guy's deep here, deep middle, and I believe this corner over here has the other deep over here, all right? Or excuse me, the other deep third over there. But since it's a condensed field, you don't really have to worry about the vertical aspect as much because you're only 10 yards out. So, I mean, you don't have that real vertical threat so you're fine right here so for uh trey though he's what we call a curl a curl flat defender all right so he's gonna be this area underneath this guy's pushing there he's pushing there boom and then you got this backside like rover guy he's gonna be the curl flat on the opposite end right there so that's essentially how this coverage is supposed to work so trey doesn't have any vertical carry on this thing right but what does he know he knows right now okay it's three by one it's a nub side to the back side, so he's not really worried about anything coming back to this side of the field. He knows action has to be front side to the wide side. So you see him just slowly pedaling out of this thing to get a little bit more space. More space equals more vision, but he still is maintaining eyes on the quarterback. When you're in zone coverage like this, which is cover three, you're able to have zone eyes where you're seeing the quarterback. And now that's going to dictate the depth of your drop also when you're going to be breaking off of this drop so right now he settles a little bit right because he feels like the quarterback is subtle which he's right and it's hard to see because of where the camera is but this last guy right here he knows he's going to his hook defender so now he can slough off a little bit and ultimately that's how he ends up back here we'll, i'll show another angle of it as well but that's what gets him to sink from right here where he was at as a curl flat defender right we said he would be here in this corner we're supposed to be back here right but instead Trey being the playmaker he is, he sees from a big vision standpoint, the quarterback looking back here. Now he sloughs off, and it just goes and be a playmaker right here. High point in the ball. I mean, this is a touchdown saving play, literally. Crazy to see this right here, man. Obviously, this is a bigger guy back here, but he times it up well, high points the ball. But this is a beautiful play by him, man. Beautiful play. Like I said, man, just watch him this whole time right here. Communicating pre-snap. And now just slowly get up out of there. But knows I don't have to get in a hurry. But reads the concept, sees the quarterback, boom. Big time action right there. And then I'm going to get you to from the, uh, now you can see it a little bit better right here from the end zone copy, right? Settling. Still eyes on the quarterback though, right? You want to have vision. And just because different angle, that's him again right here, all right? And now he doesn't take the cheese, right? Because this is the cheese right here with this concept, right? You got this guy, he's coming in. You're getting double ends, essentially. But this number three guy is the one who's running this little, like, corner route, this little seven. So what they're trying to do, six does take the cheese. You see six closing down on this. They're trying to get six to come here and 13 to go here. So in that way, all of this is wide open. But Trey reads the concept, eyes on his quarterback. Like I said, zone eyes. And then from there, smart move right here, man. Getting up out of there, nice alley run. High point that ball, man. This is beautiful right here, though. Beautiful. Kid's a playmaker, man. That's the one thing he is for certain. Versatile, but he gets his hands on that football a ton. All right, now this next play that we're going to break down with Trey, ultimately is going to show him in run support. Just showing him take good angles, man, and get a bigger guy on the ground, man. So which is a very pivotal part of being in the secondary, especially being at the safety position. So here he is right here, backside of this formation. Play it in full speed, and after that, I'll break it down. 
all righty all righty so first off starting it out man like I said, it's a split high safety uh, look right here, just meaning the two safeties are split, and he's on the back side of this thing, all right? Or you could say to the passing strength, because it is a three by one look, where you have one, two, three receivers right here. Well, I know it's a tight end, but three eligible receiving bodies over here, and just one guy on the back side. So that's why he's over to that side right there. But now, as this thing is happening on the fly, you see the quick motion. Now he's starting to understand and adjust to that, and rightfully so. Then you get the next motion. Now, what is happening right here? Texas Tech has built a nice little wall. Running back right here, a lot of green grass, right? Nearest defender that's unblocked is Trey. So right now, we're going to have to see how does this thing play out, right? Once again, we haven't seen anyone stop this play, right? Anyone pull up and, and force the ball to go back inside. So now it's essentially on Trey. And they're on the 20 yard line right here to get this guy out of bounds or tackled, right? If he doesn't make this play, this is more than likely going to be a touchdown or he might land inside the five yard line just based on this guy getting blocked, his proximity, his angle, okay? But what does he do? Starts to neutralize the angle for this back to force him only one direction, okay? Making, making sure that this back can't continue to stay north and south. He's going to have to stay more on this angle right here. And now, just continuing to corral them. Continue to corral them and don't allow the cutback, right? We've seen plenty of running backs display a nice little cutback at the end of runs and burst for another 10, 20 yards, especially collegiately. But Trey does a good job of just leveraging the ball, staying inside out of the ball, staying on the back hip of this ball carrier. And ultimately, now he gets him where he's able to deliver a nice blow right here. Same foot, same shoulder, more power. Ball does come out at the end too. It was a funny thing, man. But as a whole, really good angle. And ultimately, this just the mentality to go over there and actually get this guy down. Because if not, this could definitely be a touchdown right here, man. But yeah, right here, this is just beautiful. Yep. Stay on that backside hip. Don't allow the cutback. Boom. Nice pop at the end of that thing, man. All right. Now, this last play that we're going to show with Trey, not even from the same game, right? But just highlighting this guy being Johnny on the spot. So many times the ball just finds its way into his hands, man. Very similar to Minka Fitzpatrick, man. We talk about the Minka effect and how certain players, they just have a natural knack for creating turnovers. This is Trey Norwood right here, man, as well. All right, so here he is. This play is doing nothing special, right? Just in terms of um, zone coverage, middle of the field, and just QB can right here, right? Now, Texas Tech, it gives this little zone read option uh, element of it, but he's still center field, eyes on the quarterback, right? Ball's thrown. Now he's about to make his break on this play, right? These double ends, that's what he's getting from a concept over here. And I don't know if, I personally don't think they ran that right because these two guys are literally right on top of each other running the exact same route. And typically, that's not how you draw it up. But I don't coach at, T or at Texas Tech, and I wasn't in that room, so I don't know the full details of it. But either way, Trey catches on to this thing. And now, as soon as the ball, I mean, it should have been a completion, right? But as soon as the ball bounced off his chest, where does it land? Johnny on the spot. Like, so many plays happen like this. And now, once he gets it, he's exciting to watch with the ball. Just watch him work. Woo! Oh, hold on. Come in. Oh, where we at? Oh, all right. <laughs> Always, though. It's Johnny on the spot, baby. Oh, go get it every single time, man. But the thing ultimately that I that I do like about his game is this. He is consistently around the ball. He's consistently in the right places. And he makes sure that you could just tell he's very fundamentally sound in his game. And that's ultimately what allows him to always be in the right place fundamentally and be able to take advantage of it as well. But as a whole, man, I think he's going to be a very interesting player to watch this year, especially early on in the preseason, just to see where he fits in what his role could potentially be going forward. But either way, let me know your thoughts on Trey and if you enjoyed him. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, drop a comment below. And until next time, baby, peace.